Yes, I Lied, I Love You, The Confessions of Frederick Henry. Ernest Hemingway arrived in France the first week of June 1918 and was sent very quickly to the Piave River in northern, northeastern Italy where Italian troops were entrenched against the Austrians who held the high ground of the mountains. It is, in my opinion, an excellent choice for the university's common book, for it presents in Hemingway's deceptively simple prose the complexity of some of the major human dilemmas we must continue to face. We expect that the common book will present a situation or a set of conditions or a set of people that will encourage them to think in some fresh ways about issues that face them and uh, themselves today. And I think that, that Farewell to Arms is full of them. Hemingway, who had expected to serve as an ambulance driver for the Red Cross, volunteered to ride a bicycle into the combat zone to deliver chocolates, cigars, cigarettes, and postcards among the Italian soldiers. Three days after his wounding, he turned 19 years old. Younger, actually, than many of you here today. I saw some fine churches, Father. From the outside, I hope. <laughs> Perhaps someday, when you have time, Federico, you'll enter one. God is patient. Well, the, I think the priest is an extremely important character, and he's important to Frederick, and so I think we're meant to understand that the priest is a good man who means well and who has his values, and he is trying to profess those values, if you will, to Frederick Henry. And Frederick is not uh, having any. He's trying to explain his own desires and needs to the priest. And the priest says, well, those things that happen in the nights, what you tell me about, that is not love. And so he tried to explain it in some different ways, tried to explain about the night and how it's different from the day. But he's not going to be successful explaining to the priest his own lust. What the priest has known and has always known and that Frederick doesn't find out until later is people make choices. I think that Frederick Henry, the character, and I'm not saying anything about Ernest Hemingway, but I think Frederick Henry is what we might now call a pleaser. He will say or do what he expects that people might want him to say or do to make a moment easier. I, I think there are, there are other instances of that. The, the, and the most spectacular, obviously, is when he lies to tell Catherine Barclay that he loves her when she asks him if he loves her. He says, yes, and then she says, and you did say you love me. Yes, I lied, the more mature narrator recalls. Uh, I love you. I had not said it before. And that's a pleaser. The priest has made choices. Frederick Henry is making choices, but he denies that he is making choices. He is blaming outside things on them. And you can't have a love novel, a romance novel, without mutual commitment. Hemingway rewrote the ending many times, sometimes saying, I could tell you more, but that is the end of the story. And so I will say, for now, that is the end of the story. Thank you.